Three and a half billion years of evolution, and the big payoff is people who still think 69 jokes are funny. Just shoot me now. Ah, yeah, yeah, enough joking. Let's get back to my demolition job on that fact I was talking about last time, at the end of which I'll be saying, just shoot me anyway. God, I just can't win, can I? So, what I wanted to talk about today, the viability of Hyperbeam and Friends as finishing moves in-game. The idea is that since you get a free switch afterwards, you, you, you can afford to use Hyper Beam as a finishing move since it's so powerful and if you use that free switch afterwards, it's uh, not going to harm you in the slightest. But there are still a couple problems with that that I feel the need to cover. First, remember those stab moves that I was talking about last time that the guy seems to love so much? Well... If you do the math, usually those stab moves won't be too far off of uh, Hyper Beam's power. In some, f in some cases, they might in fact be better. And even for those that are worse, in the damage bracket where that stab move wouldn't be enough but Hyper Beam would, let's just say that I would never feel confident enough to use Hyper Beam simply because, well, damage calculations just don't work in game for all kinds of factors. It, 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 it suffice to say that I would only use a finishing move when I when when, when the enemy is already at low enough HP that, that uh, a neutral stab move would probably do it in. And of course, if your stab is super effective, then, well, it's not even a question. Go ahead, do it! And those coverage moves that happen to be super effective, once again, no question, it's better than Hyper Beam or Giga Impact. Of course, if you have something like Rock Wrecker or Roar of Time or the Elemental Hyper Beams, then uh, this might be a little more complicated, but still, I wouldn't carry them around for the purpose of being finishing moves. Not to mention, if I were to use a move exclusively as a finishing move, I would like that move's accuracy to be a bit higher than 90. Oh, and let's not forget the cases where whichever Pokémon you have out that you want to use Hyper Beam with is your best answer against the next Pokémon that's being sent out. So, do you switch to something that's less effective or do you take uh, the recharge turn like a man? That's a choice you never have to make if you don't use Hyper Beam. Well, uh, well, I say Hyper Beam, but I, I, I mean all its variants as well, because they're basically the same move. Difference being that Hyper Beam and Giga Impact are of a shittier type. But um, otherwise, yeah, it's just no. And the, po the individual Pokémon recommendations are pretty lousy as well, in my opinion. I mean... I know uh, your mileage may vary depending on the, on your playstyle and stuff, but Embor and Samurott top tier? Really? I'd like to see this guy's in-game tier list for generations 3 and 4, and if all three starters aren't god tier on both of these lists, then I'm gonna choke someone! And Escavalier high tier? Really? Not only is its move pool absolutely shallow, but 20 base speed, really? As I said before, I know your mileage may vary depending on your playstyle, but I don't think any playstyle makes using a Pokémon with 20 base speed acceptable. Of course, he talks a lot about how using items isn't a sin and all, but man, it's, it's just that Escavalier is so high maintenance that no, it's, it, it's not worth using. You can use other Pokémon with a certain degree of success, and you're not going to have to heal it all the time with items. It's just what I'm trying to say. And I found it rather funny that Sawsbuck and Superior were in the same tier. Really? We all know. We all know that I'm really picky when it comes to Pokémon to use. And for in-game purposes, Sawsbuck is not a Pokémon that I would say no to using. And you all know how I feel about Superior, so <laughs> the least said about it, the better. So for, for them to be uh, on the same tier, yeah, just no. Just no!
Of course, the fact does make some good points at times. Like, you know, using legendaries isn't a sin. God knows I've talked about that uh, enough times. As if you want the, the substitute TM, you can find it here. It's one of those moves that really that's really good competitively, but uh, pretty much worthless in-game. So, we are now done with the Twist Mountain. So I'm going to fly back to Icerus City. I'm just going to get back Nian Shao onto my team since we're about to head to Two Blind Bridge and uh, Route 9. But yeah, I was talking about good advice that the fact gives, like also using items is not a sin. I just try to avoid doing that as much as possible and keep my items and money for when I really need them. So then, I guess this is just my playstyle, but if you want to use items more frequently, well, feel, fr uh, feel free to do so, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, so I'm just going to... Mian Chao there. Also, Virizion. Gonna go in the lead. You'll see why in a second. But one last note about this fact that I find funny is that the guy attacks Let's Players at one point for not using items enough. I don't know if I would fall under that category because I do not use items very often, but it's not like I have anything against using items. I will use them if I need to, even though I don't really like using consumables in games in general, but um, still, um, just looking at one instance at which uh, I needed to use items, um, okay, okay, I guess, what am I supposed to oh great, <laughs> the bane of my existence, ice puzzles that aren't really even puzzles, this is harder than, uh, than Bryson's gym. And oh shit! This was not even the right way! Oh man, this is just so miserable. I'd give myself a slow clap if my hands weren't on the keyboard right now. So, that's why I put Virizion in the lead, because, because we can't even enter Two Blind Bridge without Bianca interrupting us. Um, yeah, once again we're referring to uh, Bianca's reason for. A model like Elisa? You? Don't make me laugh. And research on Pokemon like Pokemon Juniper? You? Don't make me laugh. Oh. Right. So, yeah. She's gonna ask me for a battle, even though I'm in a rush to save the entire world from Team Plasma. She really is as ditzy as she sounds like, isn't she? So, Stoutland is her lead, which is why I picked Virizion. I'm still not going from Yen Shao because it still has a level advantage over the rest of my team, and I want them to catch up. So Virizion is gonna have to do. Um, don't tell me I'm just gonna I'm gonna fall just short because of Intimidate. I knew it. I knew it. Yen Shao would have gotten the one-hit KO easily, but oh well, doesn't really matter since. Uh, didn't even take advantage of the situation to attack me, instead wasting a turn on work up, and it's going to pay dearly for it. Stoutland goes down. So next up we have Simisir. I'm gonna send Excadrill for this one. Um, Simisir, a bit higher base speed than Excadrill, but my level advantage should easily cancel that out, and it should be a one-hit KO with Earthquake. Since, well, Simisir, well, the elemental monkeys in general are really frail, and her fire monkey's dead! It's been a while since I said that. Samurott, I'm going to send out Lilligant for this one. I guess, um, I guess Virizion could, could do the job as well, but Lilligant could use the experience more, since it's a bit more high maintenance than Virizion, for all that it's still really effective. And Samurott goes down. I think this was our first sighting of a fully evolved starter this entire Let's Play, by the way. Musharna, I think I'm gonna go with Excadrill. I could have gone with, uh, with Jellicent, but um, Excadrill might need the experience a bit more since um, Jellicent just had an entire dungeon to itself, basically. So, Excisor, is it gonna be enough? No, Musharna! Bulky as hell! Unfortunately, as I've said a million times, it can't do too much else, unfortunately. And 
Yeah, every time you watch a Pokemon battle, it ends up like this. So, don't watch, don't do anything, your Pokemon would probably do better on their own without you commanding them like a ditz. So, x Scissor. Gonna take it down in two hits. That defense curl won't have done too much, thankfully. In fact, it won't have done anything at all if, uh, if my math is correct, which it should be. So, um, can I go now? I got a region to save, and... Oh, I'm gonna get a gift. Is it something interesting, at least? Or is it gonna be like, uh, I don't know, a potion? A full restore. Well, it's a step up from a potion, I guess. But, uh, still. <laughs> Not what, I, what, not what I was thinking it was going to be. So, um... Yeah, we're going to talk about my quest some more, I guess. Uh, so, I was talking before I started sucking at these eye segments about uh, an instance of where I really did good using item. Remember my rematch against Blue in the Soul Silver Let's Play? Without clever use of my items, I might have actually lost that fight. That's how much I struggled at it. It's... It's amazing when you think about it how much it was by far the hardest fight in uh, in the in this entire LP series and nothing else gave me a challenge not even red. So um in the end I guess that was all I had to say about that fact. As you can see um there's a lot of stuff on there that I disagree with. You might agree with some of the stuff uh, that he said that I disagreed with but you know, that's the beauty of in-game Pokémon. You can afford to have a variety of different playstyles and still come out on top. Uh, if you don't want to go with the cookie-cutter formula, good for you. So, we're about to enter Tube Line Bridge. Probably the noisiest place in Unova, considering that, well, this bridge goes right over uh, train tracks. Which I guess isn't uh, the, m the most reliable way of, uh, of building a uh, bridge. I mean, what if that, what if that, uh, what if that grating collapses and someone falls on the rails below and then gets, ooh, we actually were there at uh, 5 p when, when it turned 5 p.m. So we saw a, like instant sunset. And if, if you can see over there, there is, oh, I'm gonna get a gift. And it's the Flame Charge TM. Uh, it's a bit late for me to get the, such a such a weak move, but hey, if 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 you really like a speed boost, then I guess this move is for you. So as you can see, there's someone over there, and you get, when you get closer, suddenly ninjas. That's right. We're going to talk to Getsis again, and we got. Uh, about two minutes left before I hit the time limit. So Ken gets this, get this done in under two minutes. This is a race against the clock, folks. So he knows that I have the Dark Stone now, which begs the question, why doesn't the Shadow Triad just yoink it out of my inventory? Because as we see in Black and White 2, they can, in fact, do that. And by the way, this is a weird place for Getsis to have one of his speeches, considering, as I said, it must be really loud. And I've always, I don't know, I've always been under the impression that Getsis was the kind of guy to talk in a soft, yet snide and threatening tone, if you know what I'm talking about. So, um, had this game been realistic, I wouldn't be able to, um... To hear anything that he's saying, and once again, the of which I, I mean, of which Team Plasma speaks, and it's awesome how it's actually reversed in um, in the, in Black and White too. When he when, when when he says that, he says the joke in reverse, just because you know the masks the masks are off. He's out for world domination. Everybody knows it, and he doesn't even make any attempt to hide it. Anyway, he confirms what uh, we've been suspecting for a while, that uh, he's using N as a tool to manipulate public opinion, since N is, after all, the legendary hero of Unova Reborn. So, as a result, yeah, the people who look up to the hero of Legend will have no choice but to give up their Pokémon. So, um, 20 seconds left, gets this, you may want to speed up a little. I know I might speed up the scrolling of the text, but I still want to leave you enough time to read it, because I don't think any of you are, in fact, Johnny Five. 
So yeah, seems like I'm about to interrupt Getsis yet again with that time limit. Seems at this point like I'm just doing it for the laughs. <laughs> 